Why are the rivers so dangerous? Well, I guess the real question is, how far would you go to survive? Would you be willing to wait patiently at the bottom of a murky river? Is hunting your own kind not an option? Well, the Dinosuchus is a cannibal, and not by choice, but by biological design. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I played the cold-blooded reptile, and the experience was brutal, cold, calculated. But I wasn't born exactly like this. I started in the exact same place everyone else does. Sen is perfect for me. I'm a Senna monster. Probably should get away from being too close to here. The journey started off pretty straightforward. In the dark, nervous, fishing. No right, fish. Small and insignificant for now, but the future was clouded. It's gonna take forever. This is really going to take forever, that's for sure. It's always night time, every time like, I first log in. It can never just be like a fresh day. It's always night time. After filling up on some of my nutritions, I went AFK in the jungle. These things take forever to grow. Only coming out for the basic requirements. Look at that camouflage, that is, that is beautiful though. This is one of my favorite ones. And still in the smallest stage of growth. For now, it was back to routine. So I need one of these fish. Take this up here, fill my diet up. The Dinosuchus is an apex predator with a long growth time, and the road to adulthood would be tedious and unforgiving. Man, this thing is the slowest grower. Come here, fishy. With the sun up and the river crystal clear. Definitely not eating down there. Don't think this is going to film the second axion, but... Then again, that filled a fair bit. Fine, did you see there real quick? I decided it was here, on this stretch of the river, that I would live and grow. Quick drink. I stayed hidden for as long as possible, but at some point, I would have to come back out to drink water. Although it's probably time I go hunt, even if it's just fish. Oh yeah, hello. Later that night, I found a juvenile Dinosuchus. I'll take that. No more than a few minutes old. Sorry buddy, but food's food. Perfect. Slowly but surely, I was starting to get bigger. Still, I would have to remain vigilant. Alright, well, my diet's good now. Now I can safely go back to growing. And there's a really wicked spot up here on this trail. I'm trying to ambush some people, but uh, yeah. It's also just really good for growing. Look at this up in here. Wink. No one will ever know you're here. Just when I thought I'd found a good spot for growing, I was proven wrong. An adult Carnotaurus had sniffed me out of my hidey hole and was going to try and put me on the menu. Level 89. Can we still breach? Oh, we can't. The Carnotaurus and myself had traded a couple of bites. It was time to dip and make my way for the river. And the second one. I healed the bleed, had one last drink, and then moved on. Turns out they can see me there. I need somewhere safer to grow. He's only little, and I've got a full stomach. So, we'll leave them, that little one alone. I moved downstream, up the bank, and into the undergrowth. Up here somewhere. We're good. Only coming out when I was ready to drink and look for more food. There's a little BP. Hold him. <laughs> Got him. Poor little guy. He only just saw me at the last second. Or thought he was going to dodge me easily. <laughs> that was just luck, really. Rest in peace, friend. And finally, hours later, I'd made it to sub-adult. I see something down there. He's going for a drink, isn't he? He's drinking. Am I going to be too small? No. I'm a fresh adult, I should be able to. A Carnotaurus was down at the river drinking water. A prime opportunity. Mixed Packers. There was another fully grown Dinosuchus in the water, but at first, I don't know why, I thought he was AFK. What was that croc after me? What the heck? And what's with this music?
Yeah. Fully grown mix pack and with that was just a massive mix pack. I'm so gonna die. Because they're gonna track me down, Eddie. And I'm out of water. Dehydrating badly, bleeding. With a massive mix pack on my trail, I had to make split second decisions. Yeah, I'm out of water. I'm not fully growing either. Smartest play. Would be to get out. If I return to the river to drink, I will be killed by a mixed packing group. This is the official service, and there's no rules. So if they're gonna play dirty, so will I. It takes one minute to fall asleep and log off the server safely. If I can pull it off. If I if I live this, even I'll be surprised. It's gonna be difficult when I come back. I'll have some dinner, but when I come back gonna be difficult. I successfully logged out for the night and 20 hours later when I returned looks like I'm gonna survive. Logging out saved my life. So it's actually the next day too I logged out for the whole night and I just was like yeah that'll do. So we're back on. Hopefully I can get the rest of the growth in. Get to adult. Just playing it cool. How's my health? Still pretty low. The river is full of apexes. All of us trying to make it to the top. I don't know if I trust this guy. This was the first encounter with this albino Dinosuchus, and it would not be the last time. I'm just playing it cool. He's roughly the same size as me, but he's fishing awfully close to me. That's for sure. He has officially moved on. Cool. Because that could have been a tight fight. And I'm not fully healed. Just casually going to wander off into the jungle. Nothing to see here. Once again, I slivered back into the woodland to get myself in some good growth time. I need to check the water, make sure no one's in here. Such a slow growing beast, man. Like, if I die on a short death, like right now, not even an adult, I'm scrapping this thing and moving on to like a galley. Not bad. I'm gonna lose my diet soon. I'm gonna have to do something about that. I really don't want to be losing that. I'm going to deal with that now. All the fish here have been eaten, so this is bad. Not a single fish in the goddamn river. Who has eaten them all? There was no fish left in the river, but finally I was going to be hit with some good fortune. Beautiful. Perfect. Trapped in the jaws of death, I dragged him down to a watery grave. Cool. And that's when that same albino Dinosuchus merged out of the shadows. One of two things happened. He was helping me kill the Tano, or he was hunting the fish and never detected me. Not quite big enough to pick up the entire body. So instead, I started removing chunks of meat and bringing it to the surface. The albino crocodilian had a lot more body weight than me, but it turns out he was friendly. Oh, you're all good. Nice. Being a fully grown crocodilian, he was able to carry the corpse to the shoreline. But he must have been hungry. I was basking, slowly regaining my stamina pool. And that's when he left me nothing, not even the bones. He may have been friendly for now, but I had to move, just in case. I need fish. I need fish. I need fish, fish, fishy fish. I need one more of them, two more of them. And I can save both my hexagons. That dude ate my entire Tano. <laughs> but what could I do, you know what I mean? He was bigger than me. He had full stamina. If he wanted, he could have killed me. That's how it goes. I was not in a position to argue. That's for sure. I think I might do some growing up here. Even. I had my daily drink and then got ready for my next hunting session. Let's see if we can find some fish. Oh, we never know. Might have enough room. Just maybe. Nah, not quite. Next time. 
next round of fishing and I'll have enough room to, fi to fix that hexagon. But until then, I spent the rest of that day basking, AFK, growing in a hidden spot. I need more fish. I've spent my life fishing, practically. And that's what it is. It's been days since I drowned and killed the Tano. I have not had a successful hunt now in ages. So once I spotted a tiny little Trinodon skimming the water. And for those fish right there, I went for it. That's the smallest Trinodon ever. You might be going for it. <laughs> Got him. Oh yeah, imagine that. Poor guy. Would have been terrifying. <laughs> he was tiny too. He was so small. More fish. More fish. Everybody loves some fish. Not having the best diet made this thing grow ridiculously slow. Very slow. Still not fully growing either. I started gaining a lot of body weight, but I was still not quite fully grown. There's another alligator. Do I really want to eat another little alligator? I haven't even got room to fill out the full hexagon. But I could take his body to a good spot so I can finish this growing. Oh man, I really didn't want to kill another little alligator. But if it's necessary, it's necessary. Mm, little sub-adult. His skin looks very similar to mine. I'll get him when he's crossing this little island and I'll like cut him off. Be warned, what you are about to witness is a cannibal in its natural habitat. Sorry buddy. And now, a moment of silence. Grab the whole body. But he was too large of an animal for me to carry him. This was disappointing. Might as well drink. And just keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is survival of the fittest. Nothing more, nothing less. You have my blessing. When my food does drop, at least I've got plenty of S now. As long as no one comes to the crime scene, they'll know who did it. <laughs> they'll know I'm guilty. Don't worry, I've been there. I've died many times. Not yet, not today, but I have. I was waiting there on the bottom of that river until... A uh, big crocodile, possibly too. Time to go. Yeah, time to move. Unless I want to be killed, I'm not fully grown. While I've got a good full diet. I could be that same albino croc from earlier today, but I'm not taking a risk. I'm too close to fully grown. He may or may not have seen me. At first, I thought I'd seen a pair of them, but it turns out he was solo. It was a good chance that it was the same albino crocodilian from earlier, and I was so close to fully grown, 96%. We'll see what happens. It was the very same player. So he's been growing up this side of the river like all day long with me. Although he was bigger than me, now we're the same size. We've crossed paths a few times now. He probably knows I murdered this small one earlier though. Because I'm the only croc up here. <laughs> but, that's the river for you. And, perfect. That is me. I'd finally made it to fully growing. And because of that, I was happy and could log out for the day. I'm ready to continue. We'll see how it goes. Should I stick to this part of the river? I'm thinking for now I do. Patiently waiting back up at the hunting ground for anything. Alligator? What are you doing? And to my surprise, this crocodilian, the albino, he was still here living and alive. I don't think he remembers. It's the exact same one. <laughs> so a whole day later, and that guy's still here. I'm surprised he's still alive. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time I moved on from this river. This part of the river. 
I've been here for the majority of my... No, for the entire of my life. I've been up this stretch of the river. So yeah, it is finally time to pack the bags, say goodbye to the albino and move on. Crossing through the centre was dangerous. There was a massive float of crocodilians. I counted more than a dozen in this part of the river alone. That's a lot of alligators in the centre. Surprise they're all friendly, probably because they're not all grouped together. So nobody wants to start the war. Remember, patience is a virtue. With it, you'll have the freedom to respond in a more kind and gentle way. Ceratosaurus. Look at him. Being extra careful too. Got him. Sorry, champ. It's a watery grave for you, my friend. That's how it is. All his struggles would soon be over. Rest in peace. Nice. Got the whole body too. I'm taking this with me. My meal. He was trying to drink from like a pretty good spot too. Kind of where it's glitched out and he was drinking through the dirt, but just had enough room to grab him. I hauled the Ceratosaurus's body onto the land. That way, I could not be ambushed by any of my rivals. Death roll. And once in a good spot, I started to remove the organs. And what's Ceratosaurus give me? Ooh. It's pretty good. I can always fill up that other hexagon fish. Real question is, will he give me enough to fill up that hexagon? The dots. Oh, not even close. Not even close. I left very little remains behind. And now it was back to the river, filling up on fish to make sure my other two hexagons were still active. Up towards waterfall, maybe. It's a bit of a dangerous spot. Mm, I'll probably get cannibalized, but... Up at the waterfall, there was nothing but a pack of Omi Raptors. I messed around with them for a little bit. That was close. But nobody got hurt, or much worse, killed. Nothing happening up here. And because there was nothing else here, I decided to leave. There's some alligators on land there. There was a small pair of dinosuchus in a panic. At first I wasn't sure what was happening, but they were being hunted. What are they doing? Chasing each other down or something? And then there it was, a fully experienced cannibal hunting in its element. This one's chasing that smaller one down, I think. It was time to catch it while its focus was broken. And after I landed a lot more bites than my rival in the open, I could trade till the end. Nice. I got him for you, mate. No, oh, I gotta heal up now. It was a close call for these growing dinosuchus, but eventually they came out to feast. And they were more than grateful for simply just being alive. And for that pair of crocodilians, I'm most likely the hero of their story. But they could never imagine the atrocities that I have committed in the name of survival. I mean, I understand the big one hunting them too, that's perfectly fine. I then moved downstream so I could heal up somewhere safe under the foliage. And staying hydrated. It's the last thing you need is to be caught on land dehydrating. Oh, I've already had that happen once. Fishy, fishy, fish. 
awesome. There's always lots of fish in this part of the river. Well, not always, but quite often. That's not what I want. I want a big one too. Do I want to go back through the center? That's the real question. Maybe. I wonder if that's the albino one. Maybe. Crossing through the center is like crossing through a graveyard. And at any point, you might become the next resident. Alright, buddy. <laughs> he shat himself. <laughs> I would too if I was him. I started slowly traversing towards the swamps. And it was getting dark, late into the night. And then we sit and we wait and see what happens. See if anybody rocks up. A great deal of time would pass before I saw any signs of life. Stay on my diet. Uh, yeah. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. Life can be brutal, and for this little Stegosaurus, he will just have to start again. I was hoping that that did that other hexagon, but it didn't. I kind of just wasted that. Yeah, I, I just wasted that body, actually, eating it like that. I could hear the sound of his herbivore friend, mourning in the background. Keeping an eye on the water. And now everything in the area was aware of my presence. There was nothing left for me here. Yeah, not a great deal happening at the swamp. I'd made it back to the centre, but it was now late into the night. I wouldn't cross there, my friend. If only he knew the danger that lurked below him. I might be a little ruthless, but one thing I'm not going to do is kill two baby stegos back to back. I don't care much for that little stego. But the next day, a fully grown stegosaurus was making his way down for a drink. That damage is real. Just get this bleed off a bit. There's nothing I can do to that. <laughs> oh, that hit me. What's with the hitbox? What the heck? I'm out. Yeah, I can't. If I get any lower, I'll put myself in a really bad spot. Because then other dinosaurs will pick me off. Or I can keep an eye on him. <laughs> I think he killed a baby. He did by the looks of it. After taking the necessary time to heal up, when I returned back to that part of the river, the herbivore had moved on. Ooh, there's a turno. But with a lot more gamers still in the area, looking to stay hydrated. Mm. There's a body up there. That's very tempting. What's this galley doing? Got him. <laughs> that was a gold catch. Sorry, buddy. End of the road for you. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, look, he's still got a pumpkin in his mouth. In his hands. His claws, is what I should say. The Gallimimus was a nice reward, but it barely had any meat on its bones. And that was like, he gave me the equivalent to a fish. <laughs> That's what he gave me. There was a giant deceased Dinosuchus just up river on the embankment. So many Stegosaurus. Later that night, heading up the spine of the river, I came across another player. Attempting to get in a midnight drink.
There we go. I used my body weight to cut the Stegosaurus off, and in doing so, I landed a significant amount of damage. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, I got him good. The Stegosaurus retreated for a moment, but it wouldn't be long, and I'd find him again. Where is he going to be crossing? If he's going to be crossing. Come on, Stego. The little scout was keeping a close watch on me. Slowly, I moved inland. I was slowly getting a feel for the player's movements, meanwhile, staying close enough to the water. The Stegosaurus was attempting to lure me as far away from the river as possible. We'll be risking it. Far from the water, am I? I need to be close enough to the water. That's what I need. I'm pretty close. With two thirds of my health pool, I was still good to stay in this fight, but the Stegosaurus was most definitely not. I'm good on health. This mighty herbivore was now a wounded animal and could no longer carry on. And not only that, he lost his little BP Asaurus friend in the heat of the battle. Look at him go. He wants no beef. He wants no beef with the Dinosaurus. He's legitimately running away from me. I am about to lose that hexagon. I got 8%. I need to get moving. I was just in like la la land for a moment there. Get to the fish. I could no longer neglect my diet. Not when I was about to lose my second hexagon. I'm out of stamina, man. So if something attacks me now, like another Dinosuchus, I'm going to be at a massive disadvantage. And there's no more bloody fish. Right, there's one. That's still not going to be enough. I'm going to need two more. Nope, I need one more. That's all I need. Alright, let's go up here and hopefully there's some up here. Hopefully there's some fish. Oh, I saved it. I'm good. I'm good. 16%. Let's get some stamina. That was, that was way too close. I ended up back in the shallows, up near the waterfall. Waiting for anything, but to no avail. And it's here, in this new stretch of the river, a monster, a fully grown Dinosuchus, a cannibal, living off the fish, thriving solo, enjoying the spoils of being at the top of the food chain. Yeah, I think I might log out. I've had enough for the day. I've been on this thing for like four or five days now. The chapter is over for now, but life will prevail. Somebody's saying hello. 
Who's talking to me? Like, where are you? Ladies and gentlemen, friends, I hope that you have enjoyed my story. And for now, this is where we part ways. Please, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. This is your boy, our Tom, signing out.